Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Bianca. Welcome back to another vlog. It's my first day back after um, recovering from food poisoning or the stomach bug or whatever she was. It was, it was not, I was unwell, but we're better, we're back. Picking up the vlog, Sutton just woke up from her nap. They turned out to be a lovely day, like 50s, so I'm like, cool, let's get out of the house. First things first, I wanna make us some smoothies. Do you wanna help mom make a smoothie or are you just, so hungry you can't help. Oh. Got the ingredients. I'm gonna do spinach, macadamia nut milk, frozen strawberries. Bless you. Peanut butter, honey, chia seeds. The half of my avocado from my avocado toast I had this morning. Three yogurt. For some smoothie? Ooh, a smoothie. I hope you like it. I made it a little different today with the avocado. Taste it. Tell me what you think. <laughs> Tell us what you think. Is it good? Did I make a yummy one? Chugging. It means it's yummy. Alright. I gotta pour myself one. I'm using my new Anthro Valentine's Day cups because they're just so cute. Got two packages to the door. I'm gonna start going to normal Pilates. I told you guys, and my first class is actually tomorrow morning. So I ordered some new Pilates socks because the other ones that I have um are like ankle socks and i actually can't even find them and i only had two pairs so i ordered this pack off of amazon and they are grippy socks but they're high so i'm excited about these also got a package in from keels see wait this is actually such a cute bag this stuff came in oh my god full size um ah, advanced barrier cream Oh, facial cleanser. Oh my god, this is literally so perfect. I just ran out of my facial cleanser. Facial cream. What's this? Wait, what is this? I need to look up that one product. But besides that, literally, how exciting. <sighs> we have to put clothes on. It's on. And then we gotta put on your socks. Okay. We just made it to session stand. I would have went to Tuesdays, but they close at four and session stand stays open way later. So, come on. I could not get her unbuckled. Oh, coffee and then heading to the playground. Just waiting for her to crawl up here. Go, also, took my wallet out of my purse and I had no idea, so thank God for Apple Pay. Come here, come on. little mom vent for a second but like I know people have every right to bring whatever they want into the park Lynn like she'll grow out of this but she you know can't really form sentences and doesn't really understand 
when she wants to play with something and it's not hers but you know those like they're blue well they probably come in a bunch of colors but they're little cars and then they have a handle for like the grown-up to push and like the little kid rides in the car so she has one of those at Colin's parents house and she like loves it but we leave it at Colin's parents house so that's her little like fun thing to do at Colin's parents house well there was one there just like parked off to the side or whatever and it literally looks gross like it had snacks in it we, either way we wouldn't have played with it even if it didn't look gross but it just looked gross and it's somebody else's and she loves it at Nani and Poppy's house and so she that's all she wanted to do at the park was just play on that blue little car which is somebody else's which she like wasn't understanding that that's not our car it looks just like our car but it's not our car and it's not at Nani and Poppy's and like we're not gonna play with it we're gonna go down the side and then she like literally threw the biggest tantrum because I wasn't letting her play with somebody else's blue car and there was like no one even in sight of that car like it was just over to the side and she like of course saw it and so we had to leave the park because she wanted no slide no park no swing nothing just this little blue car so it just we just had to calm down in the back seat and now we're leaving and it's just like so annoying like I'm sure someone like just left it off to the side and they probably pushed their kid here to the park because it's walkable like there's a ton of neighborhoods around here but I'm like Ugh. oh like leave it outside of the park you know what I mean don't leave it like right in the middle of the playground so that just kind of like ruined our little playground afternoon but it is what it is it's 5 30 anyway now so i mean we were there for a little bit but anyways i'm just venting because that is just like so frustrating like if she would have never saw it we would have had a great time but she saw it and was fixated on it and that's all she wanted so lovely right this happened. I just needed to vent because I'm like frustrated. I also wanted to thank the sponsor of today's video, which is glassesusa.com. You guys ask often where my glasses are from. Always glassesusa.com. So if you've been eyeing them, now is no better time because they have the best deals for you. Glassesusa.com is one of the biggest eyewear retailers in the US. They offer over 10,000 prescription eyeglasses, sunglasses, and also contact lenses. That's up to 70% off retail market pricing starting at $39, which is huge. They have so many options to choose from let me show you guys three new glasses that i picked up recently the glasses that i have on right now i wear all the time my other pair is green recently got these in this blue color which perfectly matches my sweatshirt for today but i will have the name of the frames on the screen that i'm about to show you because i got two more new glasses but had to pick up another color because i am obsessed with my green pair and I thought blue would be fun. They also have like pretty neutral colors. I'm just really into wearing colorful glasses lately. I just love them and I've been really into it. So picked up this pair. Next pair that I got are green. I just really am obsessed with the green color, but look at this style. This just kind of brought me back. I felt like it was a really 90s cool look. I'll put the name on the screen, obviously, but the shape and everything I just thought was really different. Unlike anything that I have. And I don't know, I just really liked them when I was doing the little live try on. I just thought that they would be really fun to check out and I think that they are super cute. So I also picked up these, picked up a pair of sunglasses. This is also a part of their little Save the Tortoise movement. If you get glasses from this collection, it's a limited edition collection that artistically pays homage to endangered turtles. Comes with a whole little pamphlet so you can learn more about it. But I picked up a pair of sunglasses and that way I could also support the turtles because we had to. Um, loved the shape of these. Again, we'll have them on the screen right here. But always, always needing more sunglasses because mine just go missing left and right with Sutton. I will be keeping these nice though. But I just thought that these were a really cute addition to the sunglasses collection. Love to help out for a cause as well. I know shopping online can be fun, but it can also be extremely overwhelming, especially with so many options. That's why I love shopping for my new glasses on glassesusa.com. They offer amazing tools to help you find your perfect pair. One of those tools is the AR Virtual Try-On. I used it to find all my frames and it's always super helpful, especially for someone with a round face. Different styles don't always look amazing on me. I love being able to actually see them on. And also shopping online at glassesusa.com is a risk-free shopping experience and they provide free shipping and returns and 100% money back guarantee within 14 days. Not only do I get my glasses and sunglasses from glassesusa.com, but I also get my contacts off glassesusa.com and I will never get them from my eye doctor again. GlassesUSA.com has such a better deal. You can get 25% off of all contact lens brands. So that's Vista, AccuView, Biofinity, 
dailies, so many more options and they're available with any prescription and for all uses. You can go to glassesusa.com to check out all their offers and glassesusa.com is also offering you guys an extreme exclusive discount. So with all their deals going on on their website right now, if you click the link in my description box below, you can stack the discount they're giving you for 24 hours only with any of the deals that they have going on on their website right now. So my link in the description box will get you guys an extra discount on top of their discounts that they already have on their website for 24 hours from you guys watching this video and from me posting it. Cannot recommend enough. It is such a good deal. GlassesUSA.com is hooking you guys up. Once again, wanted to thank GlassesUSA.com for sponsoring this video. Love being able to share such a good hack of where to get your glasses, sunglasses, and contacts with you guys and cannot thank them enough for sponsoring. Is it yummy? Can you say? Mmm. Mmm. Thank you. So that one day when you appreciate chicken noodle soup, it'll be a good day. <laughs> <laughs> ah! I mean, it did just come out of the pot. Mm. I was just watching the intern as like background noise while I edited TikToks, but now I'm about to go upstairs and get ready for bed since I have that 6 a.m. Pilates class tomorrow. I'm a little nervous. Um, I usually like to go to new workout places with somebody, but we're, you know, we're trying new things in 2024, I guess. Fortunately, all, I should have, okay, I might still put in a little laundry and just do like the quick wash. My favorite workout sets, like my set of active ones for Pilates, like solid core fish, they're all dirty. And you know how you like want to look good, feel good, like new workout class, you know, you want to like look good. I'm like maybe I should go put them in the washer on a quick wash. I think I might. Also, I'm taking a level one class. I do think I could do a level 1.5, but they said you're not allowed to sign up for that until later. Um, I know that Legree and Pilates is different. I've done regular Pilates before. Um, it's been a while though, but it, you, if you guys remember, I used to go to BK Pilates in Charlotte. And honestly, I should go back whenever we're there because I liked it a lot, but I just like love solid core more. But now I'm understanding like the difference between solid core and Pilates. Like obviously um, solid core is way more intense because it's like great, it's not Pilates. And I'm kind of using Pilates to replace yoga because my issue with yoga is, you know, I've told you before, but I feel like Pilates I can integrate here and there and I would like it more than integrating yoga more often than none, you know? So Pilates over yoga, but yoga every once in a while still. I need to get back in there. It's hard to wanna do that. Dude. It's just the, Murphy, come on, let's go. I love the yoga place that I found here. The only thing I don't like is that they like, it's really crowded in there. They really book out and it's like you're on top of people and I just don't like that. And the instructors that I like are the really good ones whose classes fill up. And you're just like doing yoga on top of people, sweating on top of people, and it's like really hot and really intense. And I just don't love it, to be completely honest. That's the only thing I don't like. I'm trying something new. I'm excited for Pilates, is what I'm trying to tell you. Come on. Let's go. Night night. Let's go. He doesn't listen. Murphy, come. Oh, you left your hippo. Just ran downstairs to grab that PR package. I'm gonna tell you, I literally just ran out of my Osea face wash and I was about to restock. However, I have not tried the Kiehl's face wash. Just obsessed with their lotion, their ultra facial overnight. It's right here. Rehydration mask with squalene. I go with this on my face every single night. Um, so I'm obsessed with those. And then their avocado eye treatment and some of their masks are super good too. So this is just a restock of the facial cream. So I'll probably put that down there. Also, update on this. So this is an ultra facial barrier balm and it's brand new, which is why I didn't know what it was, which makes so much sense. But apparently you can put it underneath your perfume. It'll make your perfume last longer. You can throw it on your face just to like rehydrate your face throughout the day. Um, if you have like a dry patch, put it on that, like so many uses and it's 
on the go so you can bring it with you in your purse which is what this cute little um, bag it comes in is for but I'm super excited to try that out I'm gonna leave that out so I remember I literally no doubt in my mind that I won't love it like Kiehl's is Kiehl's and Skin Farm obviously and Osea are my favorite skincare brands oh hold on I also really like Clarence and I think it's pronounced Caudalie is that how you say it? Oh, wow. This is so soft. I have one towel that I always wipe my face off with. This is my post. I just washed my face. I'm only going to use this towel to wipe my face. Towel. Pat my face. Excuse me. One of my, another one of my outs for 2024 is like following every single trend that's popular at the moment is just out. For instance, people are saying clean girl aesthetic is out and mob wife is in and like exaggerated smoky makeup and like messy hair and blah blah blah. Well okay like messy hair sure. But like for like just dressing like over the top, big jewelry, stuff like that, that is absolutely not me. That is not my personality at all. Smokey eye? Never. Maybe for a wedding, but no, never. And I will not be partaking in that trend for sure. And also, the clean girl aesthetic trend has made my skin amazing because we're not wearing very much makeup. It's like all really light and natural. And also, I don't want Sutton, I mean, she's so little now, but I don't want her to be like, dang, mom wears like a lot of makeup. I want to wear a lot of makeup. Like I want her to be like, oh, mom's like naturally pretty and mom it looks natural all the time. Like that is what I want her to see. I do get filler and Botox, but that's like besides the point. See, this is how I'm a scrunchy mom because I'm like, I want her to see me look natural, but I also do love lip filler and my masters. Actually, I would get rid of everything else if I could just get those two for the rest of my life. I'd be so grateful. But, um... Anyway, I'm just saying that's funny because I'm like I want her to see me be natural, but I also love getting like little baby Botox. And by the way, I get disport. I was called Botox because it's just an easier word for people to associate what's going on with. But I just get baby Botox, like the smallest units, like here, here, and here. It's just preventative, okay? Like I still have movement in my forehead, like nothing crazy. You know what I mean? Um. Anyway, taking out my contacts. The other day I got a comment and they were like, why are you wearing glasses? I was like, well, as soon as these come out, oh, I did order new contacts, by the way, you guys just thought I would let you know. Um, when did those come out? I can't see at all. Like, you are blurry and, like, I can see up close, but anyway, putting my glasses on. Um, mob life trend is an absolute no for me, an, like an absolute no negative not happening anyways out following every single trend that's not me i'm not doing it that's all i gotta say about that you already know who's in here waiting for me i don't even know why i turned the overhead light on whoa this little lamp in here is everything i'm so happy we put it in here does anyone else do this i take my pillows off in a strategic way that will be the easiest for me to put them back up like put, make the bed with so like those all go on that side because that only to go over there and then this one on this side because I'm about to go over here and then I like my three pillows behind my back for when I'm reading to give me the best like support off of my neck like I really set myself up for success aquaphor water look I think I'm just gonna sleep with my hair in these braids because it's a pretty healthy way to sleep with your hair down okay let's see here 10 10 I'm listening for my washing machine to be done Back to Roman and Iris. If you guys are reading Ruthless Vows, favorite point of view is Roman's in this book. Which is funny because in the last book my favorite point of view is Iris's. So.
morning. It's currently 7.15. Um, went to Club Pilates. I actually really liked it. It was exactly what I wanted. I just wanted like really slow pace, like stretching, but also like tension to where it's like a burn, like a burn stretch. And that's exactly what it was. And that's exactly what BK Pilates was in Charlotte. I do wish the studio was like a little more aesthetic because I just love that. But you know, it is what it is. Kyrie and I actually have a class book next week for this Pilates studio called The Daily Pilates. This one's like super aesthetic and really cute. So I'm so excited about that. But it's in Buckhead and this one, like the Club Pilates is in Marietta, like super close, like 15 minutes away. So that one's definitely more ideal. But the people were super nice. The first lady I like met and saw, we were waiting outside. I literally got there 10 minutes early because I figured like it was my first class. I needed to get there early. And they had like the doors locked, like they were not. Um, open. So I was just like waiting outside talking to this nice lady and she's giving me the rundown. She's like, everyone's so nice. Like everyone, it's such a community. Like we're really people, people here. And I totally saw that. I agree. Like, which is nice. And, um, yeah, I'll definitely go back. I feel like maybe if I like keep going there or like do Pilates or whatever, this is what I'm thinking for like my new little workouts. But I'm thinking Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Pilates. Tuesday, Thursday, F45, Saturday, Sunday, solid core. I can like take a Monday, Wednesday, and Friday off in the midst of that. But that's kind of what I'm thinking because solid core is just like so far away and hard to get to. And it's way easier to get to on the weekends. And then, excuse me. And then um, just like mixing in Pilates there for like the whole stretching aspect. I feel like my body is just so tight. So yeah. Anyways, that's what I'm thinking. But I'm back home now already. It's still dark out. And I love a get up early. I'm just gonna get into this new schedule of a 5 a.m. waker upper. I've been home for an hour and Sutton just woke up. It's 8.30. <laughs> ah! Did you miss him while you were sleeping? Did you miss him? Come on, let's go get some milk. You got all your ducks. Are you trying to make Woody stand? that I need to run. We're out of paper towels and we should have got them at Costco. I really don't know what we were thinking, but we didn't. So, I just like need paper towels to function as a human. I also have to go run to FedEx to send something back. Um, basically what happened was the KitchenAid that I had, like the stand mixer, broke and it wasn't like my fault or anything. It just was manual. Good thing I registered it. That's all I have to say. But I did and they sent me a new one and I just have to send the old one back because I'm assuming they'll make that one a refurbished one. But um, I need to go send that back today. Also, you guys, let me tell you this story really quick. Um, so uh, when I was like getting my phone bill for my new phone, because this is like the first full month that I've had the iPhone 15, which I don't think it's like groundbreaking or anything great. Like mine freezes, but I also... No, I don't even have, like, my storage isn't full or anything like that. But, um, anyway, so 
it had like a $500 charge. But when I upgraded my phone, there was not supposed to be like any charge like that. So I called them and I was like, why is there a charge? And they're like, oh, because you never sent your old phone back. And I was like, not only did I send it back, I have the tracking and I have the email that says that it was with the carrier. And I have the email that says it arrived at Verizon. I did not get an email saying whether or not you guys like approved it or whatever but I got all those emails so I know that you have it so there's no way I did not send it back and I was right and they had it the whole time and it was fine and it was like completely normal and they were like oh well recredit your account like that should have never been taken out I was like you guys have had this phone for almost a month no a month now it was delivered December 12th today's January 12th I feel like you guys have had this phone for a month and you're trying to charge me $500? Good night and goodbye. Anyway, that was just like ridiculous. Like when I saw my bill, I was like, what in the world? Ah! Um, what time is it? 10.30? Ah! That's the time you're leaving? Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably. I mean, if I can get out before then. Why? Yeah, when's it gonna start raining there? It's already raining. Then what are you doing? <laughs> Set and say hi. <laughs> Set, where's Gigi? Bye-bye. See you later. I love you. Can you say I love? Oh. Oh. Can I have a kiss? Oh. Give her a kiss. Oh. Set, give her a kiss. So my mom is coming back today. She's been gone for a hot minute, but she's coming back. We were just FaceTiming with her and then playing after that, but it's currently pouring, even though it says it wasn't gonna start pouring until four o'clock today. So I decided we'll run errands maybe after nap time if it's done raining. It's just a lot to run errands while it's raining. It's just like, I don't wanna do that. Or if my mom gets here, cause if she's leaving now, she should be here around when she wakes up from her nap. Okay, maybe I'll just leave her with my mom and I'll go run errands. I don't really know. Playing it by ear for sure. But we've been playing. We haven't watched TV all morning, which has been like my new goal is to not turn the TV on until like maybe right before nap time while we're eating a snack. So it's currently like 1040. It's pouring. We can just chill on the couch, snuggle up, eat a snack for a little bit and then go to nap time. She's just a little tired and cranky, so it's like a rainy day mood, you know? I, know. I was thinking that would be nice and relaxing after we've been playing all morning, working on our colors. Can you say red? Red. Yeah! Can you say blue? Red. Can you say yellow? Red. Can you say orange? Red. Good job, baby. Red. Blue. Yellow, green. Oh yeah, see? You say, relax. 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 So mommy's nose. It was one of those days where I just was not into a nap, but I did finally get her to sleep. It's like 3.22 now though. I am just feeling like, I don't know, this has been a rough week, like getting sick and everything and then all that. I think that I'm just gonna sit and catch up on some computer work right now, put the toast on the TV probably, and I am making some, um, I cut up a sweet potato and I put it in the toaster oven. So I'm going to do a sweet potato with ground turkey, but I'm just letting that go because it's going to take a while. So I'm wearing those silver little like teardrop earrings from Amazon and they're so cute. Mixing metals really, in my opinion, is, I think it looks pretty good. Silver gold, silver gold. Pretty cute. I'm into it. I like it. Just kidding. Look who woke up. 35 minute nap. Now it was longer than that. 45. It was like 45 to 50, but 
It is what it is. I still made myself food. And I just fed her a little yogurt thing. My mom's here. I'm assuming he's about to lose his mind. He loves her. Who is that, Murph? Who is that, Murph? Oh my gosh, Murphy! Who is that, Murph? Who is that, Murphy? Be like, oh my god. So, who is that? Good morning, you guys. It's Saturday morning. Last night, my mom, me, and Colin all started watching Fool Me Once a new show on Netflix, which I didn't think it was like amazing, like not the best show that I've ever seen, but it was definitely like interesting. So that's what we did last night after we had Chipotle, and obviously we put son to bed, and when Colin did that, I was just reading my book, so. Actually having a bunch of people from Colin's work over for dinner tonight, not a bunch, just like a few of his friends that he works with that he's like made here. So my plan is to go prep for that after we get home to like have guests over. Luckily, we've kept the house really like nice and clean ever since we did that huge deep clean in the beginning of the year, so. My class is at 8.05, so I'm just, it's eight right now. I'm just sitting outside. I'll probably sit in here for like another minute and then head on in. <sighs> I'm not sore from Pilates at all yesterday, except for my calves, because I haven't trained my calves in a really long time when we were doing like calf pushes and stuff. So that's good. Okay, I'm here with active leg here. Nice job, Keep it that. Nice job, VT. In eight seconds, you're back to full range. Max tension, hold. Incline, bend the knee to 90 and hold this. Three, two, and one. Hold. Helping you keep you more stable on that carriage. Keeping it slow to control. Nice job here. Facing each other. We are moving our elbows back to where our fists meet our ribs. Back home to grab everybody because we are going to go to Session Stand because they just opened up a new, new little like shop next to Session Stand and I want to go check it out. So, um, yeah, I figured we could go do that before nap time. Just get out of the house and do something. Should we go in the store first or get coffee first? Maybe the store so we don't have to. Well, the doors are cute. You can come. Wait, really cute. Oh, they're playing Taylor Swift. We just got back from session stand. That little store was so cute. Um, I'm gonna give Murphy a little haircut because he needs one really quick, just a little trim.
gosh, not me totally getting ready and my camera being dead. I should have been charging you guys this whole time. Here's my outfit. I did just do a quick little hair wash day because we've got to like clean the house and stuff and prep for hosting. But I'm obsessed with this outfit. I'm wearing Abercrombie Sloan tailored pants with my New Balances that I'm like literally so obsessed with. I think they're, yeah, they're the 725 New Balances. This sweater is from Revolve, the textile in it. I need to go cut it out. A little white Lulu tee underneath. And yeah, that's what I'm wearing to host Colin's friends. Okay, I ran out to run to Target. I don't think I've ever parked as far away as I had to today. It is like busy, I guess. Literally coming for two things, but probably we'll get more. You guys, look at all that Valentine's stuff. Oh, it's for our dining table so bad. I like it. Maybe it'll go on sale. You guys, when I tell you I hit the literal jackpot in there, I'm not kidding. We're going to have to do a quick little car haul because they had so many good things for Valentine's Day in the dollar section. So I did a little Valentine's Day basket for some last year. I'm going to do it again this year. And also my friend Kyleen just posted how she made her kids baskets. And she said a lot of the stuff was from the Target dollar section. So I was curious to see what they had. And they had the cutest stuff. So I got her this XOXO straw because she loves straws. I got her this little love flag to put in her basket. We're just gonna rapid fire these. Some heart sunglasses. I got these for me, cookie cutters. That wasn't in the dollar section though. Don't be fooled. You can put stuff in here. It's a little pinata. I don't know how she's gonna open it, but we'll figure it out. And um, I can put like her little snacks in there. Am I in focus? It's a question. Uh, please look at this rubber ducky. It's got a crown. She loves them in her bath too. Then I got her this little mirror. Then I got her the Mouse Valentine's Day book. Um, what else? I got Colin like shampoo and stuff. I got her, these are limited edition little Ghirardelli chocolate things. And then I got her a bunch of these little stickies for the window because she loves sticking them on our sliding glass door. Like obsessed with it. It will keep her entertained for so long. And then I also got one of those Sarah Belly pouches and the light pink one so it like, you know goes with the theme of the pink and the red and purple really good stuff at target right now for valentine's day in the dollar section so i would definitely go if you want to make your baby a basket or like your friends or something or like your kids teachers if they're in school so many different options and so cute this year as i was pulling up eric just got here so he just went inside um, I gotta take the stuff inside. It's Eric and then um, two of his other friends who he met like through work And it's cool because they like get close because they travel like you know how Colin goes out of town all the time for work Well, sometimes they get to go with each other if they have like a bigger shoot for law firms um, Or like more content that they need to get for law firms So he like travels with these guys and they're like they've become good friends. So they're finally coming over Um Eric just came earlier though because he's like, you guys know, he's like part of the fam at this point. He's just like another brother-in-law in my opinion. Please, we're gonna get him. I gotta get his scissors. Oh, you want your Rex? Guess we're giving it to her now. Here, wait. Cool, son. No, just wait. I have to. Go show dada. So, go show daddy. Yeah, can you bring me some flour? Yeah. Colin's got all his dough prepping. I heated up some naan bread with this spinach jar and choked it. It's so good. And also, Sutton did get a new Rex at Target. I think this one's gonna be really good. It's just really greasy in the middle. <laughs> Be gentle. What's going on, man? <laughs> <laughs> They're going to the castle. It is like a ripe 28 degrees.
degrees outside. So I'm wearing this big H&M puffer thing because it's cold. I just made it to solid core meeting Kyrie here for our normal Sunday girly routine <laughs> uh, solid core and then Valor coffee oh I'm sore for sure Ugh, I'm not gonna bring in this big puffer because there's definitely not room under the reformer for a big old puffer class starts in five my favorite thing to do is just sit in the car before so I usually like to sit as long as I possibly can it is cold today, holy cow, 28 degrees, good god. I didn't do anything to like glue down the little hairs in the front of my head and I'm nervous they're gonna be sticking up by the end of the class because I ran out of time and I was like, I don't have time for this. Just wrapped up solid core. Quick little in and out. Um, my hair's so wild so I'm using Colin sunglasses to just tame my hair. I'm like legit about to put this coat back on because I'm so cold. We're going to Valor to get coffee. Guys, last night when everyone was here, we brought the chair in our room down here for more seating. And now, I'm determined to get a chair for this corner. And we're just gonna leave the chair here for now until I do, because it looks so cute there. I think we need like a colorful chair, like a brown or a, a green. So, anyways, look at that. Isn't that cute over there? I just put in a load of laundry and I have to fold those clothes and these clothes and organize those clothes. Okay guys, I decided instead of having like a busy jam packed like let's do this, let's do that Sunday, I just wanted to have like a nice relaxing like chill day with the fam Sunday. Colin and I made that chicken noodle soup recipe that we were like obsessed with because we had to eat it again from Half Baked Harvest. It was like 30 degrees today so instead of going out to the park we did the bounce house. We watched football, I read my book. I didn't do any work, so I'm probably gonna have some things to do tomorrow, but I just like wanted to relax. I felt like lately we've just been like go, 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 and I just like needed a day to chill. Brushing my hair, getting ready for bed. Okay. What? I said I'm brushing my hair and getting ready for bed. Are you talking to the vlog? Yeah, I'm not talking to you. Colin and I made some TikToks. Yeah, it's a historic day. I made a TikTok with you again. Yeah, and you had so much fun. I don't know why you never wanted to do it. Well, sometimes they're not fun. But that one was. Right? Mm-hmm. The cookies are good. Yeah, my mom made cookies. Sutton was watching the TikTok back of us. Is the heat on? So I'm just sweating. It's just me. Here's your hair stuff. Sutton was watching the TikTok back of us laughing of him jumping on my back and it was the cutest. Is this the conditioner? Yeah, so just keep using my shampoo until I have time to go back to Target for you. I 
got him hair stuff and didn't realize I only bought conditioner, even though the other one said two in one. I just didn't even look, but it smells really good. Citrus and herbal, 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 good lord, citrus and herbal musk. Mmm. Mmm, that does smell good. What'd you say? I said that does smell good. Oh my god, I thought, I don't know what I thought you said. <laughs> I thought you said I would smoke it. And I was like, what? It's weird. Okay, gotta wash my face.